Hi friends, welcome to Sajjan Academy. So next, Applied Science. In Applied Science, uh, unit number 6, Industrial Chemistry. In Industrial Chemistry, uh, first topic is Metallurgy. So what is Metallurgy? Metallurgy is the process of extraction of metal from its ores or the study of properties of a material, its composition and manufacturing process is also called as a Metallurgy. So what is metallurgy? Metallurgy is a branch of engineering or technology which deals with the study of study of properties properties of metals metals or it is also defined as the process of the process of manufacturing process of manufacturing of metals uh, it is also the study of study of manufacturing manufacturing process process and chemical Composition, composition of metals. So, what is metallurgy? Metallurgy is the branch of science and technology which deals with the study of properties of metal, or it is also deals with the study of the process of manufacturing of metals, or it also defined as the study of manufacturing process and chemical composition of metals. So the detailed study of mechanical or chemical or thermal properties of material, manufacturing methods and its various chemical composition, we call it as a metallurgy. So we have a separate branch called metallurgy where we, have, we, have, we, detail, we study in details about materials, manufacturing methods and the chemical composition and the various uh, various properties of material such as mechanical property, chemical property, magnetic property, electrical property and thermal properties. So we know that all metals which are not available freely in nature. So yavde metal yavde yavde thar metal namge free free of state thare adarde ready made agi namge sigalo yello hu namge arth kastali sigatte arth kasti na nau manufacture mado. So metallurgy is it is a branch, one branch. So metal material bucket, material manufacturing model methods bucket, and the material chemical composition bucket, other various properties by study model, a branch in our metallurgy and the So all metals are not free or level in nature. So earth crust world, Iranta, or room of the minerals and the material metal extract model. So, all the material is free formally yeah, free formally because of its reactivity. So, the um, depend on reactivity of material, its availability is depend on its reactivity. So, kelondo highly reactive level, kelondo tumma low reactive level. So, example for gold, silver, bronze, branch level, very less reactive material. Tumma uh, react less reactive, which means they do not react with water. Water to the own react other. So, uh, metal will combine formal. The metals are always in the combined form in the form of ores or minerals. We have to extract the required material from ore or uh, minerals. That the process of extraction of metal from that ore or minerals is known as metallurgy. Next concept minerals. So, what are minerals? So, minerals are the substances, substances which are which are available, which are available in combined combined state, combined state in earth's crust.
So what are minerals? Minerals, minerals are the substances which are available in combined state in earth's crust. So, bhumi and crust only combined form only is one the substance you know minerals and the karithi. Example, example hematite. Example, hematite is a mineral law. Is a mineral law. I don't know. So, hematite is a mineral law of iron. So, yalla metal ko nangye free axis galla do combined formula ko dianta agle milte. A combined form na wo mineral santa karte hui. So, first ko nangye at crystal mineral sikta hui. A mineral sima na wo different process sali na wo metal ko extract karte hui. So, a mineral so yawa wo combined stage stage state ko dianta. So, it consists more than two or three sir. More than two or three metals at different proportions. So maximum proportions yau dikha the. Ata na now extract mati. Example like hematite. Hematite na mere at crystal sikta hai jana. Ata na processing mati na wo iron na mati hi bolu. So hematite is a mineral of iron. Next, ore. So what is ore? Ore is also a type of mineral from which we can extract metal very easily and conveniently. So ore. Is a it is a mineral. It is a mineral from which from which metal can be extracted extracted easily easily and profitable. So what is ore? Ore is a type of mineral from which we can extract metal conveniently, very easily and profitably. So ore is a type of mineral. All ores are minerals, but all minerals are not ore. So all note that <coughs> all ores are minerals. But all minerals are not ores. So minerals are in, in general, it is a substance which is in combined state. So <coughs> combined state only one. Other than no metal one no extract one thing. Or it is a ready form. So our ore and no metal one no easy again extract one thing. So main difference is it is in combined state. It is in single state. So material in our here, but now now we extract more gold. But over in the, tumbo easy again, profitable again. Now metal now we extract more gold. So one day over in the, one day metal now now easy take gold. But mineral in the, more than two three metals now we extract more gold. So all over is a type of mineral, but mineral mineral is not a gold. So note that all ores are. Minerals, but all minerals are not ores. Next, flux. So, what is flux? Flux is a substance. Substance added added during metal extraction extraction process. So material of material of the now mineral in the above the ore in the above extract matter karna other than high extract matter karna substance addition I know the substance I use matri so very very metal extraction you know very very chemical some I use matri a substance you know flex on the karate so substance which is added during the extraction of metal is called as a flex next slag so what is slag slag number it is the the material, the material produced, produced during the the metal extraction extraction process as a 
by product. So by product, that means waste of another kind of thing. So now, or sugar, or or mineral, that means plus plus just the help one. Now chemical process only more than that. So by product, that means even though substance to create that kind of thing, even though substance, you know, slag that kind of thing. So these are all the important definitions regarding metallurgy. So first one. Minerals, minerals are you know, substances which are available in combined state. Combined state only earth crust, bhumi, nail pathali, combined state only sibunta, substance only you know, you know, you know, minerals are you know. Next, ores are you know, ores are the type of minerals from which material, metal can be extracted. A metal is now ore in the extract, one substance in the extract, one thing like a substance in our ore. Next, flux. So chemical process नहीं तेरे बगैर था, so metal extraction process नहीं तेरे बगैर था, ना उस addition में ही उन substance में आर मारती हूँ, आ substance की ना वो flux अंतर करती हुई, next flux मतलब वो अंदर ना वो उन तो chemical process के process से ले metal में ना वो extract मार देगा, by product आई ये नॉन तो substance बनते हैं, अर्थात ना वो slag slag अंतर करती हुई, so these are all about the important terms regarding metal अच्छी so next concept alloy so what is alloy alloy is a substance consist of two or more elements with some metallic properties so alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances with with the, their uh, properties so alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more elements with metallic with metallic properties example for alloy uh, steel Steel consists of iron and carbon. So where iron and carbon are the two elements, or we, we we can say it has three elements or four elements. So more than two elements, it should have more than two elements. So in uh, in steel mainly there is a carbon and um, there, there is a carbon and iron content. So the, both of these both of these iron and um, iron and carbon constitute an alloy. So alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more elements with metallic properties. So what are the uses or what are the purpose of alloys? So alloys, in, uh, we prepare alloys to increase the hardness of material. To increase hardness. So increase hardness of material. Next, to reduce the melting point. Melting point, how to decrease? We have to decrease melting point and we have to make the material corrosion resistance so to put it the other to kill their own material no matter what that allow you know him not to work so next good casting casting uh, casting in the model uh, in fact casting in the model uh, metallic production of it back on that now casting easier in model of the metal back on the now allow is not use one thing next to to change the chemical activity chemical composition and no, now uh, change one of the use one thing so alloy and red it is a substance which has two or more elements so one component to one substance so more than two elements and now you do and it is a homogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture of the chemically so same chemically same compositions chemically no reaction reaction are both so that you know homogeneous of the country but with metallic properties properties are given आधार द सब्सटेंस बोली ना वो अलाइन तो करती हूँ। सो व्हाट आर द पर्पस ये उद्देश्य ना वो अलाइन मरती हूँ अंदर टू इंक्रीज हार्डनेस। सो नमी ये नेचर में सिवाता है ना मेटल वो हार्ड आगे रहना। सो ना वो अगर इन्होंने तो मेटल ना ऐड मर दागा अलाइन आ गया तो दिन द हार्डनेस में इंक्रीजेस। तुम्हारे Next, corrosion, corrosion resistance. Corrosion is to kill it. So, with the atmospheric or climate effect, the metal gets corrosion. Corrosion is used to chemically resist. Next, good casting. So, casting is a manufacturing method. So, now casting is a manufacturing method. बड़े कैस्टिंग करके मार्ग बढ़ला, सो ना वो अलाय ना मार्ग पड़ रहे, कैस्टिंग करना इजी है कि मार्ग बोलो, नेक्स्ट टू चेंज केमिकल एक्टिविटी, सो केलों तो कंपोनेंट को केमिकली 
चेंज मारने के लिए वो अलाइज़ हमने यूज़ मारते हैं। सो दिस आर द परपोज़स ऑफ़ अलाइज़। सो नेक्स्ट सम ऑफ़ द अलाइज़ एंडिक्स एप्लिकेशंस। क्या बोलूँ तो अलाइज़ बोलते हैं तो एप्लिकेशंस नो ना। फर्स्ट वन ब्राउस। सो ब्राउस हम लोग तो वन दो अलाइज़ विच हैज़ एक कापर 60 टू 80 परसेंट एंड जिंक 40 � Next bronze. Bronze under it consists of copper 75 to 90 percent and tin 25 to 10 percent. So copper and tin form a alloy bronze. So bronze under use more thing coins under manufacture more like tray metallic tray springs more like and the bags under manufacture more like use more thing. Next is steel. Steel consists of iron. If we under iron 73 percent. So chromium 18 percent. Nickel 7.7 percent, C copper 1.3 percent. It consists more than three or four substances form a steel alloy. Steel alloy is now automobile engine parts only use more than. But the all machine parts only use more than. Next gun metal. Gun metal is a composition of copper, tin, and zinc. 85 percent, 10 percent, 3 percent. So this gun metal is now gear manufacturing only use more than. Casting of machine parts. किलोग्राम मशीन पर्सन में कैसे मॉडल के यूज़ बनती हैं। 